How's it going guys and girls? Maymood here and we're playing on uh, Maymood's World. Every time I'm gonna give the series a new name. Today it's Maymood's World, tomorrow it's gonna be how to build. Anyway, today what are we doing? We are gonna build a giant, a gigantic commercial... Um, I don't wanna call it a mall because it's not a, necessarily a mall. You know a mall is one big structure where you have stores inside and it's usually very ugly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, the idea behind it is to have basically stores on the right and on the left and then a big walkway in the middle and uh, there'd be like cafes here along this line and there'd also be some water like fountains and stuff in the middle so that's the idea behind it I began by building a giant box then uh, cutting the middle, I'm using uh, world edit, then cutting the middle, oh by the way let's get rid of the wada, wada, no not Arabic, wada, clear, un million, very good indeed, so yeah that's the first thing I did, but then I noticed, I noticed something, I noticed that this it's too big. Like this would fit maybe three stores. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. That's more than three, but it would fit three at, at least. So what I decided to do is basically cut these as well in halves. And then after I cut it in half, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. You know what I should do? Also cut it into like pieces. And that remind me, remind me, reminded me, reminded me, speak English, please. Uh, reminded me of Venice, of how they have like very narrow streets and they're like filled with stores. Sometimes you'll find like a tiny cafe. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna have, or like the bazaar even in Turkey, if you if you guys ever been. So Venice or the bazaar in Turkey, or bazaar everywhere, I guess. So they have all these narrow streets and they're filled with the. With stores so this is what I'm gonna do we're gonna cut these into pieces I guess and that as well so let's get going instead of just talking about it so yeah last time I think I told you that we're gonna build the station for our cable cars we will still do that but the reason I'm starting with this did I start the timer and I did not start the timer for this episode I'm such an idiot give me un momento guys I just click start and now we get going actually let me just Sorry, yeah. Oh, and I have a new mic. I have Blue Yeti. So you're gonna hear everything. If there's a, an ant walking on this desk, you're gonna hear it. Uh, what are we doing? So I need to figure out where is the middle right here. This is why I hate building on, on camera because sometimes you do some pretty boring stuff indeed. But I think I have a trick. I have a trick of the trade. So this is the middle. Let's do this. Haha, let's fly. And we're gonna hit this. Alright, so now, uh, the one to the left. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's fly over there. And then we come right here. And then we, no, not here, right there. And then we come here. We fall in the water. And then we do this. We fly straight, straight, straight. Ooh, that almost gave me a headache. Almost found myself getting dizzy for some rason. Aha, here it is. And what did we do? Five? Was it a five? I think it was a five. So let's do this. We'll do this. And then we'll do. We go here. We go here. Then we have to fly as well. Oh, yeah, this. Is this bothering people? It's bothering me personally. It feels weird. I get uh, seasick. And this motion is not very pleasant. Let's focus, focus, focus. There we go. So we go down here. Actually, we go up here. Because the first one, we hit the bottom. So we do this, and we do cut. Aha. Let's check if it's if it looks kind of correct. I guess it looks fine. If it's a little bit bigger, this looks a little bit bigger, in my opinion. Right? Let's... let's 
You know what? I'm gonna count it. Sorry, guys, I have to do it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, so 27. Let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What the hell is happening here? So we have uh, we have 31 and 27. You know what we can do? We just need to make this 27, right? So let's do this. If we cut this and so this will make it 30, 29, 28, 27. So we'll break this. Aha. We fixed the problem, do not worry guys and girls. And having a bigger street is is okay, I guess. Uh we come here and we do this and we do cut. Oh so the reason this uh, week I haven't been recording as much as usual because my cousin is in town. Hmm my cousin, my cousin, my cousin. Is this correct? We have four here. Four. Yes, it is correct. Yeah, that actually actually looks better. So four, four, eight, nine. Nine space in the middle. So yeah, my cousin is in town. And this guy, this guy, he loves going out. He hates staying at home. So anyway, I've I've had to like go out with him a couple of times. Not, not like out partying, just out to dinner, out to a movie, or out to whatever. But yesterday, it was me, his wife, and my girlfriend We're having dinner. And I think I told you guys once, yeah, yeah, see? I can't count, I can't count while telling you the story. So instead of counting, I'm gonna do some stuff. What? Ah, I forgot to do something. Mossy cobblestone. You know what I wanted to do before we began the episode? Where's the cracked one? There it is. No, that's not it. Cracked, cracked, cracked. Where, where is it? Ah, there it is. I wanted to get the data value for everything. <laughs> this is what I want to do right now. Is uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. We do you here. And then we do this. And then maybe, maybe, maybe we go all the way over there. So yeah, he was telling me. I think yeah, I told you guys that one one day I, I think I was sick and I was explaining to you guys that I hate people who pretend to be sicker than they are, and I used the example of my cousin. Uh, set. What's it called? Cracked. What is what is it called? Cracked stone bricks. No. You know what I'm gonna try? Set snow. No, I just set snow, I said. Set snow. Okay, mistake. Mistake, big mistake. Undo. What's the name of, of the uh, snow? It's called snow. What the hell? Yeah, obviously I don't know how to use the <laughs> the uh, magic wand or world edit in general. So what was I gonna say? So, you know what? While I'm telling you the story, let's go check out. No, I have to keep building. I have to keep building. Yeah, I might cut right here. Go get the data values that I need and come back. So I'll see you guys in a momento. All right, guys and girls, I'm back. And now I know, I know everything. Actually, I don't know anything. I just have my iPad now. So we can work even, basically, I don't know any of the data values. I don't know any of them. Uh, I think the only one I know is like 
black wool and is it 35 5 or 35 15 yeah see i still don't know it. so anyway i'm just gonna uh, play here build you can follow along while i tell you the story so yeah i remember once in an episode i don't know which series i was telling you guys that my cousin i used an i was saying oh yeah i'm sick but i hate people who pretend to be sicker than they are and then i was like yeah yeah i remember my cousin in high school who i roomed with i went to boarding school and uh, i roomed with him actually let's move this back so i remember him just whenever he got sick he would he wouldn't like he would just make the most out of it but uh, while still pretending that <laughs> he's okay for example he i i'd wake him up be like oh dude let's go to school be like no no i'm too tired uh, i can't work i can't go to school blah 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 i'm like dude you're okay like uh, hey, if you're too tired go to the nurse then he'd be like no no just you go and uh, can you call the nurse and like tell her to come here and we lived like in in a dorm that is separate from the main building like it's a distance and if, if you're extremely sick the nurse should come to you but usually you go to the nurse so anyway and uh, yeah yesterday i meet him Oh, no, 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 no. A couple of days ago, he calls me, and he's like, Oh, Maymood, do you have a doctor here in this city where you live? I'm like, not really. I've been living here for more than two years. I'm like, not, I don't have a general physician that I go to. I've been sick maybe twice where I needed to go to the doctor, and I just went to, uh, like, a walk-in clinic and met with any doctor. I wasn't that sick. I was like, oh, I just need, like, some uh, prescription medication, so I went there and got it. So I'm like, no, no, I don't have any doctor. So he's like, okay. He later calls me that night. He calls me later that night. Actually, let's move this even further back. Let's move it as far as I can hit it. Ah, good. Ah, and I should use this because I am smart and I know how to use it. So he later calls me that night and uh, we were supposed to go see a movie. He calls me or I call him because he it was the time for the movie and uh, I just wanted to make sure that we're still on them for the movie so I called him I was like oh dude where are you he was like oh I'm at the hospital I'm like what why oh and I forgot to tell you the reason he wanted to see a doctor was because he felt something stuck in his throat that's it he's like I'm like dude well that let's call him John I'm like John that's not a serious issue like it's uh, just drink some water until pass probably He's like, no, no, it's been five days. I don't think it'll pass by itself. So I'm going to go see a doctor. I'm like, okay, oh, well, just do whatever you want. So I call him, and he's at the hospital. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? Uh, so he tells me he goes to the hospital, and he's here with his wife. Uh, and he calls me up. He's like, well, and I asked him after the doctor's appointment. He calls me up. And he's like, uh, so I asked him, well, so what happened? Like, what did the doctor tell you? Is it anything serious? And he's like, no, they did this procedure where they stick this tube down his nose into his throat. <laughs> his throat. And, uh, and he's also afraid of anesthesia. So he did it without anesthesia, which is even more hilarious. <laughs> it's sad. I should have made fun of him. Uh, so they do it to him and he's like, okay, what did they tell you? I did something wrong, I think. I did something wrong. Let's just go with it. Let us just go with it. You know what? I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab... Let's, let's take this. So, I'm like, what did they tell you? He's like, well, they told me it's probably nothing. And... Uh, basically, I should just let it go. It's nothing. But you know what he asked me? He asked me, he's like, should I believe the doctor? I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> of course you should believe the doctor. The doctor is, does not want to kill you. It's not in the doctor's best interest to kill, to kill their patients. One, two, three, let's do four, five. We did five there, right? So that was hilarious in and of itself. I tell my girlfriend the story, and then when we, when we meet him, 
I think I don't know. I mentioned it like I make fun of him. Like, haha, he didn't want to believe the doctor. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, very good, very good. So I, I was making fun of him, and then his wife is like, yeah, oh, I should, I should stay in one line. Then his wife, st his wife tells me they just got married. His wife tells me that just before their honeymoon, there's this huge virus in Saudi called the MERS virus. It was a big deal. People were dying. Hey, my cousin would not leave his house, apparently. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, he was telling me the story right now. So his wife started the story, then he continued. He tells me that, oh, yeah, yeah, the episode is already over. Let's give it five more minutes. Yeah. He tells me the story where uh, Seth, what was it? 98, 2. Ah, yes. Very good. Let's close this up. Yes. So he tells me that before his honeymoon, when this MERS virus started, he wouldn't leave his house because he didn't want to get sick. He's like, oh, I'm leaving soon. I shouldn't leave my house because uh, I don't want to get sick and catch it, which d doesn't make sense. Just live your life. You're probably not going to get sick. I was probably, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Just follow the guidelines that were given by the authorities. So he, he doesn't leave his house. But apparently, he gets convinced by one of, the, one of his friends to go to the gym. This one day. They go to the gym. He, uh, while he's like bench pressing, he accidentally hits his chest. But then they leave for the honeymoon. On the plane, he starts telling his wife <laughs> that he feels that he can't breathe. Then when they reach, they go to Italy. They rent a car and they're driving. Apparently he has a panic attack in the car, but I don't think it's a panic attack. I think it's just him being a baby. <laughs> because a panic attack would like probably stop you cold. So he's like, yeah, yeah, I kept driving. I didn't want to worry my wife, so I kept driving until we reached the hotel. They reached the hotel. He calls the concierge and he tells them to call a doctor. <laughs> oh, you know what we can do here? I know what we can do. How do you put the sign thing? Like a sign on top of each other. No! We can do it here all the way. I don't know why I did this. So yeah. I might do... I might do a bit of work off camera because I really... do not have the hang of telling a story while working because I have to stop and think about the story and then stop and think about what I'm doing. I'm just gonna finish the story. So they call the doctor. The doctor tells him, ah, oh, the doctor, the emergency, an ambulance come to his room and they check on him and they tell him, oh, it's probably nothing. But then they tell him, oh, well, let's take you to the hospital just in case. They take him to the hospital in an ambulance that's on his honeymoon <laughs> in an ambulance. And they go to the hospital, they do all these tests, nothing. There's nothing wrong with them. They go, the next visit, they go to Bora Bora. He, well, as soon, apparently, as soon as they reach the island or the hotel, he asks the concierge, like, is there, are there any doctors on the island? And they tell him, obviously, there are doctors in, on the island, and the hotel can call him a doctor if he wants to. So he leaves it alone for a while. The last stop of his honeymoon was LA. He goes to LA. He asks, he, uh, again, he I think calls the concierge at his hotel and be like, oh, I need to find the best doctor or something. And they find him one of the best doctors with respiratory problems and stuff like that. So they do a test on him. This doctor does all these tests on him. And the test just, proves that he hurt himself while he just bruised like something while he's basically working out and that's it but for the entire honeymoon he thought he had the MERS virus <laughs> which is hilarious and sad I feel bad for his wife I really really do 
So anyway, I didn't know he wasn't that bad before, but I think he's getting worse. Like I'm, I told him, dude, I think you have like um, you're a hypochondriac. You know, people who think they have diseases but they don't. So I'm like, dude, maybe you should go see a specialist, re a specialist regarding this. So he might, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just pretty funny. All right, guys and girls, I'm gonna do some work here. So the thumbnail of this video will probably be something that looks nice because this so far looks extremely ugly. And then the next episode, we'll continue working on it. So thank you very much, guys and girls, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Guys and girls, I just wanted to show you one last thing that I did before we end the episode, which is I basically replaced I replaced the stone with snow. Uh, it just looks much nicer. Before it looked like a storage facility, you know? So it sucked. I also, I think this will be my thumbnail, like a picture of this area right here. It's like a flower store, florist rather, a flower store. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that would be my thumbnail. So I decided to show it to you guys. It was very simple. We added, so we're gonna have four main ingredients, materials for this build, which is snow, spruce wood, stone, and the cracked stone bricks. I think that's kind of the default for building. So yeah, this is gonna be it. I'm gonna work on it a lot by myself, and then next episode I'm just gonna show you what I did while working on maybe something new. So thank you very much guys and girls for watching, and I'll see you next time.